Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. I'm Alex and Tuna, and today I think I'm gonna tackle the eye. I had mentioned it yesterday or the other day in a video about jumping into Blender. So let's do that. Let's go to Blender. Alright. Had a, already started a sphere, kind of getting this going, and I got a reference down here. I'm trying to figure out what's the easiest method. I wanted to use a, a plugin and to create some of this detail in the eye since it's going to be a lot easier in here than ZBrush I feel. Let's see what we can do. So I got a standard sphere I just added it in and rotated it and we're going to look at this profile. This is a profile of the eye. So I'm probably going to need two, two of them because or a duplicate sphere to go around this let's get this main sphere so let's go and duplicate this just to have so you duplicate I forgot the hotkey I've been jumping back and forth all these programs oh <laughs> no one can do it that was uh, in edit mode so there you go we got a duplicate so let's go back here we can name this I all right keep it named keep the chill so what I want to do is go ahead and mirror this so I'm gonna mirror it and the X and the Y so now we got a segmented part the other thing is how do we want this to look it's gonna sink in side of the eye and where we where do we want this so let's go here. I didn't want that to insert. All right, good. It didn't. So what I could do is probably bevel this to give it a little bit more uh, of an edge. If I want to let's see, I'm gonna push this back in somehow because that's gonna be the iris in there, right? I'm trying to figure out where I want what <laughs> is it? This is a little different because. How much eye do I give her? She's gonna be a cyber, cyber-looking eye. So we'll go there, and I guess we can extrude this back down to give her, because she's gonna be robotic, right? So that's the other thing is. See this going. Um, she's gonna have a. And how much do we see, really, right? It's gonna be so small. But. I don't know. Just like anything else, I'm still kind of trying to figure out the design, how this will go. So I would think it would probably still be more rounded, given how much adjustments, you know, little, little things. So you're still going to have that part come out, right? But this part, this juicy part right here, what we, how much do we want? It took me a, a good while to get a little more comfortable in Blender, and I'm um, slowly getting there. So, let's save, uh, do an incremental save just to be safe, 
trying to keep this not so move this microphone sorry if it's making a noise um let's go in here uh, random flow this is the the juicy part right here Woo love it oh man I told you and we can double up on that we're gonna do loot from source we don't want nothing too crazy, right? I don't want it getting nuts. But, let's see what we got. And a little more coverage. Let's go to 75. A little more coverage. Let's see how that looks. I don't want it to be too tall. So let's go to the depth. Just enough. And just enough right there. And then on top of that, so let's get to our reference right here. We could have cut a little bit more uh, in in detail using a different cutter. I don't like this. Looks cool. She's going to be a robot. Robots. So let's go ahead. Auto smooth. See what we got. She might need a loop right here. Just a kind of a barrier. And either it comes out or in. I'm trying to think. Probably in, right? That's gonna uh, you would want it out. I think so. It out just a little, and then we can give that a little edge something to rest on, right? We can smooth it out. And we got like a little bit of a little give. It's gonna be so far, we're not gonna zoom in like this close, so I don't have to give it a lot of subdivisions. She's gonna need more on her eye, though, but even then. I can still um, add to it, so we just want to get this going. So go here and see what we can give her. Just a little clean. So. <clears throat> and these pieces are separate, so that's good. Uh, that's what I like about this. It's Kind of non-destructive and let's see what do we want to give her so it's still can select faces so select these top faces about right there so back in here and shift nope wrong one. shift q and then we'll do the same thing again but Here. And there's a loop subdivision. Start increasing this to get even more detail because she's gonna be so you got that going on. But I don't want it that that tall. I don't want it that big. Gotta push it down. Push this down. Just enough. Just enough. And there's also where you at? loop inset thickness so you can also inset this just a little bit if you want to give a little bit of a character look at that Ooh, shit. look crazy so you kind of got an iris going and I can do four different parts too so we don't have to do it on just this one I can do it so get out of here and select this mesh and do it from here so maybe just from the edges, get out of here, go Q, same thing, except we'll, we'll play with the seed, look at that, and then we can also play with, where are you at, so we're shortest, longest, it gives you different results, I only got one, we can do two, yeah, 
so much detail in here now. Look at that. Ooh. Robotic eyes. And the other thing is, do we want to keep the side clean? That's, that's kind of a thought. Do want to give her inset this? Um, see what it does. We don't have to do it too crazy. Mm -hmm. Take this down just a little bit, just a bit. See, now you got like a that new panel loop percentage solver. See what this looks like. Ooh. I like that. Sure, it's the longest. Not enough. Subdivision. Too much. Too much. Cut angle. Clear faces. I'm just kind of reading what I can do to get a little bit more interest. Go in there. Global seed. Just enough to vary it. Let's do this. Uh, where's the seed at? Seed per ratio. Let's find one we like. That looks cool. I want it to look like little kind of circuits, but not. I love this digital kind of thing. It looks like her, her eye is going to be you know, computerized. So I guess we can keep that there but right here let's do this mm, maybe I don't know I'm trying to think I'm trying to figure out how that would look. Ooh. No. Yeah, let's go here. And we want that. Let's see what happens if I push it in or out. Ooh, something's. It's a double sided, but it is. Something doesn't want to come along. This box. Let's go to wireframe. And you can see it kind of got a little distorted. It's not too big of an issue. I need to uh, convert it to a mesh. Get in here. Go by distance and this too. So let me see if I can grab this. That I can grab. And I'm wondering if this is just because it's a mirror. We'll fix it in a minute. I'm not too worried about that. As long as everything else comes along. It didn't? No. I might need to readjust this piece. We'll leave it for now. I 
but that's what happened. Didn't dissolve it. Something's in there. I'll, I'll weld it and fix it in the, in the other side, but right now I think we're good with this eye. I like this detail. Let's look at it with the cavity. Ooh, look at that. From this distance, you, you're only going to see so much detail in there anyway. And if I were to give it a, let's see, look at shine it up, shine her eye, and let's see what we got. Let's get this material, we'll give it a metallic. Maybe. to everything that's a lot of pieces I'm gonna need to bring over to ZBrush I'm wondering if I should bake it here or something to save a little bit of back and forth but I really want this detail in there you know just just would help a lot so let's get this light Grab my surface, metallic, roughness, drop it down, it's a little shinier. Mm. And even then I could still make a like a bevel on there, this would look pretty crazy. So we got that part. I'm going to save this out and what I'll probably do is drop this in ZBrush as a as it is, as a mesh, I'm going to clean it up, whatever it was that was not allowing me to grab the center, I'm going to probably convert it to a mesh. Convert to mesh. It did get a little warped in it. It looked warped. It looks a little warped. Something happened there. Look at that. that edge loop there's an edge loop there or something I'm about to weld it all though so but for this video I think this is going to be about as far as I'm going to get um, on this I'm just trying to get stuff in there Ooh, there it goes got it I think yeah merge by distance so that's one part down we got the robotic eye and gonna go from there I'm gonna bring this into ZBrush and continue on so we're just kind of this little session was just getting this eye, eye and the iris and all this stuff but to be honest if I did this in ZBrush or anything else it would have taken a long time all these little pieces it would have yeah done a little bit more than I needed so, all right We'll go ahead and call this one for today. We got the eye, we got it ready. I'm gonna save it out and hopefully tomorrow I'll have it. Or later on I'll try to import it in uh, probably tonight into ZBrush so um, and get that model set up so I'm not jumping back and forth tomorrow. So hope everybody's doing well and thanks for watching. Later.